Okay, so in this video, I want to share with you three tips to help you and your team get better results in defining the scope of your analytics, data visualization and data science projects. I often get asked the single reason why analytics, data visualization and data science projects fail. There could be several reasons. But if there's one thing I could recommend you to do is to get better at defining the questions within your project. The questions that you need to work need to be measurable, specific, time bound. They need to align to the overarching idea that your boss or your client is trying to convey. Okay, but how do you get better at asking questions? How do you go about better defining the ideas that you need to solve for in your analytics projects? There's essentially three ideas that I think will help you better define your projects. The first one is about stalling. It's about that pause. Every time we get into that briefing uh, meeting, into uh, understanding what the project's going to be about, my recommendation is that you stop, stall, and pause. Let the client or your boss talk about what really needs to be done. It's about giving him or her that kind of awkward silence. As they ask you, as they prompt you, as they give you more information, it's about you stopping and letting them talk. It's about listening. It will give your clients and your boss an opportunity to give as much as they can in that short amount of time. The next thing that I often recommend you to do is to kind of paraphrase. And paraphrase here means essentially augmenting, adding your voice to whatever uh, uh, comment, whatever request was uh, made. So for example, if your client wants to better understand how their customers are going, okay, you may want to kind of go back and say, all right, so what you're saying here is that we need to gain a little bit more insights. We need to get, get more details about our customers, our existing customers or our new customers. So you start having that conversation and adding a little bit, but paraphrasing essentially means augmenting what has been said. And after you paraphrase, you may want to kind of stall again. You may want to give that awkward silence and let your boss or your client add and fill in a little bit more. Okay, the last thing that I would suggest you to do is ask more whys. And that is essentially that idea of, you know, the five whys or, you know, the idea of getting closer to the root cause or, or the reason why you're actually solving for that problem. We often don't have a chance or we don't really um, have the freedom to do that, but try and add this in your first interaction. In that first meeting, try to add a little bit of the why are we doing this? Help me understand why are we solving for this particular problem? So these three ideas really help me better define data visualization, analytics and data science projects that I'm working on and hopefully can help you. So the first one has to do with stalling, pausing, let the client and your boss talk about what they need to solve. The next step is to paraphrase, paraphrasing by augmenting, adding your voice, adding your ideas to whatever has been said. And the third idea is to ask more whys. In that first moment, in that first opportunity, start probing, getting closer to why are we solving for that? What is the reason that we are trying to solve for this? I hope these three ideas help you and your team better define data visualization, analytics, and data science projects.